We simply cannot return to this brand of you're on your own economics if we're serious about rebuilding the middle class in this country. I think it's about time the little guys on the main streets of America were listened to. And I believe the president's speech in Kansas may mark something of a turning point. This kind of inequality, a level that we haven't seen since the Great Depression, hurts us all. You're right, Mr. President, and it's exactly what the occupiers and others have been saying. With so much income and wealth now at the top, the rest of us no longer have the purchasing power to keep the economy going. For most Americans, the basic bargain that made this country great has eroded. That bargain used to be a job at a decent wage. But now, too often, the game is rigged in favor of those at the top. Inequality also distorts our democracy. Because that money at the top is being used on campaign contributions, lobbyists, and advertisements to keep their taxes low, to block regulations in the public interest, and to get subsidies and handouts and bailouts that we pay for. Trickle-down economics is a vicious fraud. Remember in those years, in, in 2001 and 2003, Congress passed two of the most expensive tax cuts for the wealthy in history. And what did it get us? The slowest job growth in half a century. Massive deficits that have made it much harder to pay for the investments that built this country and provided the basic security that helped millions of Americans reach and stay in the middle class. You're right, Mr. President. And if you want to make the election of 2012 about all this, we're behind you. We'll mobilize and organize. We'll give you a mandate in your second term to raise taxes on the rich, including capital gains taxes, and put a tax on financial transactions. Also, resurrect the Glass-Steagall Act. Limit the size of big banks and force them to modify mortgage loans of millions of Americans who are now underwater and invest in public schools and world-class infrastructure so all Americans can prosper in this new economy. We know, Mr. President, that nothing good happens in Washington unless good people outside Washington are mobilized and organized and energized to make sure it happens. So we are behind you. We'll re-elect you. We'll give you a mandate for real change as long as you're behind us.